subscribe to Serving It Raw. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Just make sure to coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. He want to shoot it, he hot-headed, he goes right. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swing it. Fork in the glass pot clay. Holding the boat, they ship sinking. I make one brick, two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You tapped into Serving the Raw Podcast. I am your host, Gutter Kane, the Pyrex Iron Shell. <laughs> <laughs> and it's your girl, Kilo Kane, aka Kilo Grim. And we are back in the kitchen. What you got for us? Alrighty. Today is our top 10 underrated rappers. Okay, keyword hours. Okay, and then we're gonna break it down into two parts. So we put five on part one, and then stay tuned the week next week or the week after. I'll drop part two that I have the other five. Okay, but before we get started, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. So whenever we drop new content, you always get the notification. All right. So and comment to add some of y'all favorites. Oh yeah. Let us know. Let's let's conversate. Yes. Put down in the comment section with Converse. your verse. Yes. Conversation <laughs> is not a word. Well, hey, at least. Let's converse. A, <laughs> yes. Get it right. Get it right. Okay. So, we're going to start with the first one. All right. The first one on the list, okay, is Jadakiss. Okay. Mm-hmm. We were having a conversation about how Jadakiss, you know, uh, in the locks, uh, completely fucking killed. Dipset, easy. At the verses, it hurt my heart a little bit because I'm 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 a I'm a big fan of both, but it hurt my heart to just see them get demolished like that. <laughs> but JD Kiss, I feel, has been an underrated rapper over this time. He's put out you know a few different uh, solo projects as well as he you know he started out with Bad Boys when Biggie was alive and he was you know riding that wave right there with the locks. Then he went to Rough Riders, mm-hmm. okay, and they really, you know what I'm saying, got on their street shit. And so, and, and they've continued to be um, an epitome in, in hip hop. And I think they're the only probably rap group that's still alive. I mean, uh, not still alive, but still together <laughs> uh, after all this damn time, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and right. the thing is, you know, Jada has a very distinct voice. Yes. And style. When you hear Jada, you know it's Jada. Period. Punch lines for days. Yeah. Well, we Serving them. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to get this first one. This is a freestyle right here that, uh, that I was able to get from uh, Jada Kiss. So this is the freestyle. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Whoever got the most ratchets is in power I'd rather get sent packages than sent flowers uh-huh. I can't understand how the game allow it Nigga that a poppin' tails a dangerous coward dangerous. Fuck it, if we gotta go to war and get shells If anybody happen to get caught, pick 12 Some niggas will look at their royalties and faint Money always gonna be here, uh-huh. but the loyalty ain't uh-huh. I dives on the quarter, high rise on the water uh-huh. People tell me I got the same eyes as my daughter uh-huh. They expecting the hard shit, you give them a slow jam I'm Man lost his date cause he didn't want a program ah. Niggas keep it up, everybody gon' suffer though I got a revolver that'll knock down a buffalo Switch from the denim with the zippers to the buttons Stop. though NYC without me is nothing though no. In a minute it should be back here And I'll be in the front and y'all'll be right back there Woo. Like if G-Money never showed Nino the crack uh-huh. Probably never would've been a new city to jack Now say this to say that What's up? Situate properly cause either you getting buried Or putting up your property okay. And the best coke ain't always white nah. And why is it that the dead man is always right? Why? Damn well he been doing dirt all his life, life. Judge will tell you the same thing, it's always life, life. Do it with anybody, any part of the globe anybody. Album out or not, always hot as a stove ah. With a mean shorty, even the grown man sedan On the coupe, real sporty uh. Mean face, ass like an Autobahn 40 Fuck him out of here Light up! Alrighty, that was Jada Kiss with the freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. 
So what you say? What you think about it? man? Jada Kiss is just one of those rappers, man. That you just gotta love, man. That boy got an extreme good, great personality, but his his work his his workflow is is, is is something else. His style is is something else. Punchlines, metal, everything. Just you know, Jada Kiss is one of those ones, man. That was gonna stand out regardless. I believe. Yeah. So. I ain't really. I, to me, I feel like all this. There really ain't much more you can say. <laughs> that is true. Well, shit. So I'm like, I ain't got no words. I'm just, I'm just, we just give y'all the game. <laughs> That's it. So y'all can take it or y'all can leave it. You can lead a horse, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make them drink. All right. Well, we're gonna move on from the east coast. We're gonna move on down south. Now this one right here, this individual here, we had a chance to see live. He always brings it, and um, he's another individual where I think that he is not getting the recognition that he deserves and that's big crit king remembered in time okay and so this is his song king <laughs> we'll check this one out shout out to you yana <laughs> hey hey what up folk i'm focused man <laughs> I've been doing it for a little while now. I had some mixtapes out, did my thing. I ain't really had the opportunity, I think, to speak from my heart, man. Like, to really just express myself. So I'ma give it to him as long as I can. I ain't counting bars, so don't expect no hook. Lord, I've been trying all these years, and I ain't never had a thing to say. Did it by myself, not a soul here to motivate me. My family was cool, but when time got hard, it was like, fuck this rap shit. Go get yourself a job. I thank God there were no runners with the law while I was riding with my folk, and there was dope in the car. Mama, forgive me, I was in it for a minute. I was tired of them talking about my shoes and my fitted. G-Bug got killed, then I shed a couple tears. Try and forget that it gone, just remember that it healed. Remember that it clipped, and way he had it good. Yeah, my nigga dead, but at least he out the hood. I leave if I could, that's what I plan to do. These niggas talk a lot, remind me of high school. But I thank you for your hating. Appreciate the rumors. If you think that you a winner, then I'm glad to be a loser. The Lord. No money, more problem, that's just how it is I lost another homeboy, that's just how it is He told me, little cut, I'm trip on these niggas I said, fuck that, I'ma get paper and shit on these niggas Rip on these niggas, don't speak when I pass you They sold cause they wanted to, we sold cause we had to Bills don't pay them sales, my nigga, hell no I'm about money, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all Moms and pops, I promise that I won't fail y'all My shit jam is only right that I sell y'all I dedicate my life to this music I dropped out of college cause my life is this music Next nigga out the sip, really can't tell me shit The beat spoke to me when the books couldn't tell me shit I wake up like another day, another headache My purpose gets no clearer as I'm staring in this mirror Watch my face in my ass and hit the slab hard If I don't say shit all day, nigga, I thank God For another breath, yes, for another step In the right or wrong direction, still it's forward progress Moving at a pace that can't be seen Scraping everything, yeah, my pockets is fat Because my stats are lean I got a mean team, and they you see you dealing The only way they show respect if I make them feel me I mean that sincerely, I keep my beef and chilly For anxious haters waiting, plotting, praying out to kill me Why the fuck I gotta live like this, mama? All the setbacks make me feel like this, mama Another southern rapper yeah, I bet it label Two of my best friends Patron and Quavo At my table we sit And talk millions With some hope that we can speak it into existence Ha! <laughs> it's certain universal laws we abide by The dealer lives on But a child dies in the drive-by Titans colliding Blocks go to war With no earthly idea What the fuck we fighting for I paint pictures of this concrete jungle Where the lions make deals with the hunters Snitch niggas, Kool-Aid, heart Pump, bitch niggas, under pressure, write a whole fucking list, nigga, please I'm fighting demons like Constantine, constantly trying to take what belongs to me But I rebuke you niggas, follow suit, nigga If the combo ain't about money, then I mute, nigga, shit 
I'm focused, folk. You can quote this folk. I'm about to swarm the game like locust folk. They choking folk. Guess it's hard to swallow. If I leave the sip, then hell yeah, they'll follow. I talk to the father. He tells me be real. Never mind what they want, son. Just say what you feel. I'm knowing the deals nowadays and bullshit. Anything less than a meal is some bullshit. Cause I'm knowing what I'm worth. Don't need a nigga to tell me. Shit. Music alone, no gimmick. No gimmick. Need a nigga to sell me. I'm here. Already, that was Crit right there with King, man. I can't even say much. I can't say it. You know, it's it's just too much to say about Crit, man. I feel like Pimp C passed away and came back as Crit. <laughs> like, man, that dude's something else, boy. Yeah, he is, and it's crazy because Ayana had a school project, and I I can't remember if it was her language class or her music class. But basically, she had to give um, five songs by five different artists that she really liked. And she had to do, like, an explanation why she had to record herself talking about it. And so, I got a chance to watch the video before she submitted it. Mm -hmm. And Crit was on there. And she picked the song because she felt that it was thought-provoking. And she loved the way it made her feel. And she was like, it talked about, you know, the hypocrisy of our thought process. Yeah. And basically it was mixed messages, which is also one of my favorite songs from him. <laughs> and so I just thought that it was, it just made me feel good because, you know, she got, she got a hell of a music. Ear, yeah. Play, yes. Playlist too. She keep jacking out my damn songs. She jacks all my songs, all my damn songs. <laughs> but she does. She has a really good musical ear. It kind of just makes me feel proud that she's not just in one box. You know what I'm saying? She listens to a lot of different things, and oh yeah, she has great taste. <laughs> yeah. She ain't <laughs> in a damn music. box like a lot of y'all little young niggas. Yeah, she don't she don't play them games. But yeah, Crit, and it's crazy because Crit is in the circles of a lot of people who we talk about. So I feel like his name just gets left out, and it's like, why? That I don't know. I really don't. I mean, his 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 music his music is, is just phenomenal. I mean, all the way back to his mixtapes. Yeah, he's worked you know? with Kendrick, Big yeah. Sean, uh, Yellow Wolf, which them two sound like together. Yeah, they like, actually them have two. an album together. <laughs> him, him and Yellow Wolf uh, supposed to have an album together. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I would love to see an album from uh, from him, J. Cole, and Kendrick together, though. I keep telling everybody yes. that. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would be fire. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, let's keep the ball rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this right. ain't the Big Crit episode. I know. I just want to put that. <laughs> Big Crit is one of, them, one of those special ones, man. But we're going to move on to the women's, okay? Now, I want, I, at first, I'm just going to pick one, okay? But I couldn't just pick one because I think... I'm going to group all three. I've had to pick three, and I just grouped them all together as one. But I believe that Mia X, Gangsta Boo, and La Chat are all underrated. They're never... I, I ain't going to say they're never. I just... I haven't heard them being included. When you talk about female hip-hop stars like Lil' Kim or even Foxy Brown or you want to add Nicki Minaj, you know, and go on and go on, I never really hear those three. Me ask Gangsta Boo and the chat R.I.P. to Gangsta Boo, but you never you never hear those three individuals included, and to me that's that's a that's a fucking huge problem, mm -hmm. um, because uh, I think they're all the queen of the south. Like that, those three individuals there for females held it down, especially me ex. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I, I can't I can't give me it, and I know that's your birthday twin. <laughs> exactly, and it was like you know No Limit blew up like. One minute, they're just here and mm -hmm. they take over. And she was the first lady. It was like she, she was, one. yeah. She was like yeah. I was living for Mia X. Like, and then when I found out we had the same birthday, I was like, 
Oh yes. <laughs> and me and X brought I a mean, lot of y'all the, the rappers that you like him. Me and X was the reason why a lot of the motherfuckers came over there. Like Fiend mm-hmm. and uh and uh KLC and all you know, all of them. You know, yeah, they, they she was, definitely deserves uh, more. Yes indeed. Well, this is their track they uh they did all together called Bitchy. So we're gonna go check that out. Me and X, Gangsta Boo, and the chat, Bitchy. What we gonna do right about now is take y'all back to the club. When the clubs was really about that life. Mama Mia, Gangsta Boo, La Jack, let's go! Hell no. 
hell no, hell no. That was me against the boy in the chat right there. But I tell you, man, those three, hey, them three women on the That felt man. good. Yes. Like, that felt like the music we grew up on. Yes. It just felt good. We lost yes. somebody special, man. We uh, fuck. We lost somebody special when it comes to gangsta bull and this hip hop shit, boy. That girl has been grinding for a long time, boy. And I just, I just know, she just, they just unappreciated, unappreciated. All three of them just unappreciated, man. That shit crazy, man. Y'all need to. Get, oh shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. You try to sit and talk at the same time, dude. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I feel like we keep losing the real ones, and yet it's still alive. I'm going to leave it blank. <laughs> Y'all can feel it in. You said in the last one, you said if you ain't going to be able to say nothing good, don't say Y'all feel all. it in. I don't give a fuck. 6 ix 9 still alive. <laughs> I don't give a shit. That's the whole point. I don't care. All right, all right. Who's next? Oh, shit. My nigga corrupt. Corrupt, <laughs> corrupt, man. Look, corrupt for a hey. long time. Yes, corrupt. A long he time. deserves this shit more than anybody. I ain't gonna lie, man. Corrupt. Hey, Eminem has corrupt on his top ten of rappers. That lets you know corrupt been killing it for a long time. It's just I don't know if people just haven't really paid attention to corrupt flow. But trust me, that nigga is more than sea walking. Okay, when they come to these bars, nigga, he is on it. And if you don't believe me, you can go to Rap Seat in the Basement. Uh, no, not Rap Seat in the Basement. I don't know what the hell it was. I might have been. It, it was one of them Rap Cities. I don't think it was the basement. It was the other one, the, the little last one with, uh, with, with with links or whatever. But when he was in that motherfucker, it was him and Daz. And he rapped all the way until they had to carry him out. And from what I heard, that he's still rapping. <laughs> so we gonna go, we gonna go to this song right here. This is actually a Dr. Dre song featuring Lady of Rage, who's another underrated rapper. But she's on. I already got her on like a, a whole another episode where I talk about the what ifs. But um, she's on my she's on our what if episode. But Lady of Rage, Daz, and Corrupt kills it at the end. This is puffing on blunts and drinking Tango Ray. It's actually on the B side of the Dre day. But hey, it didn't get the shine. That it was supposed to get. I don't know why. Yeah, 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 y'all, y'all, let's do this shit. <laughs> I thought I'd throw a booty chat. <laughs> He's a punk ass nigga. Yo, yeah. Yo, Jeff Rose in the motherfucking house. Wrecking shit, you know what I'm saying? This is Dr. Dre in the motherfucking house. You know? Yo, I got my own boys in the house. The tall clowns definitely in here. Yo, yo, I got my nigga corrupt, ready to wreck some shit. Yo, you know who else I got in the house? Yo, so diggy ass, step up on that ass. Yeah, guess what's in here? My homegirl rage. I said my homegirl rage. Yeah, the lyrical motherfucker murderers in here. Yo, my nigga glove on the board. Dropping that funky ass bass line. Yeah. Really dope. Yo, Jeff Rose in the motherfucking house. Running the nine train. You know? Yeah. But right about now, there's a little freestyle session going on. In the studio. We just kick it back, getting fucked up and all. You know, puffing on a few blunts. Drinking on a little bit of that tiger, right? Tiger, right? Yeah. So, uh, right about now, hey, yo, Rage. Yo, Rage. Yo, run that shit, G. Always and forever, forever and always The rhythm will flow from now on through all days As long as the sun shines, as long as eyes and hours on the dime Yo, I'll be kicking the rhyme One time for your mind, your soul, your body D.O.G.'s on the side of me, smooth as E&J Hard as McCarty, smacking those out of yak And ducks that keep quacking Here's that a cackling, end up crackling Under the heat, the pressure from the one that's deafer Egyptian ruler, call me Cleo or Nefertiti Tahiti, voice of the wind, lyrics blow, chill 
transmission blurs, bleach slur, sir, with a cherry on top, rage in the fact that just begun to rock, yeah, rock on. Nigga, that's the pack, this tray a slug A true nigga from the hood and the pound gives love You see, niggas wanna be down But never came around So back up upon my nuts to stop sweating the pound You see, niggas get broke off like one, two, three Cause I'm the D.A. to the, the, the D.A. to the Z Now G's paying attention to this young ass Mac Daddy in the caddy, Hattie Not knowing about the city where the niggas hang around So I roll him up and hit him up with the motherfucking dog pound I'm up and rugged and up to two dirt I'm from the dog pound and it works, I'm no joke Who the fuck you trying to provoke? One, eight, seven. It's cold how his ass got smoked I don't drink no fucking VSOP I drink the motherfucking OGOE I'm from the clique that be kicking the gangsta shit, bitch Real niggas, real G, with real big dicks I hit them up with the pound So what you wanna throw up? Claiming your cocaine or cabbie when you blow up Know what? The pound's in the motherfucking house back again We try to get high as we can, Dr. Dre Be kicking fat rhymes to produce it I get more wicked than Beetlejuice Motherfuckers get battered So scatter me before I keep you hostage And then get hostile like the Grim Reaper So, I'm coming from my hood What hood? You really like to know, wouldn't you? I thought you knew Motherfucker, don't you know I'm stranded on the road? I take a look into the crowd Pick a style of flow I'm massive Motherfuckers get murdered for action Relax, kid You're rolling with a fucking assassin I last did dirt the other day Betray the role of a G From the D-O-double-G Yes. Now we need to digest some of this. Now, mm -hmm. at least this this line. He said, "One of my idols ain't no joke. So why the fuck should I be?" That's a cold line right there, and that is 100% directed at the greatest rapper of all time. Which I know I said on one of my things. There's no greater rapper of all time. Sick of the all great name. Mm -hmm. Fuck all that. Look, no, 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 no. But I gotta give it to the God MC though. You know what I'm saying? That's that's Rakim. So that's where that line was 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 shot at. Rakim is, I mean. Who Yana also had on her list. <laughs> yeah, Rakim was out. Yeah. yeah, man. Rakim was just, that's the person, man. You can't, you know, that's the godfather, man. That left not, we'll be, we just, everybody still be rapping. Bob, 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 dog, dang it, dang it, dig it, dig it. Everybody start their rhyme off like that, hell, if it wasn't for Rakim. So you better be thankful that he was able to get on there and actually spit these bars and rap. And now we got different ways of different rappers and stuff. But, mm -hmm. yeah, but Corrupt, man, is, is one of those ones that I really want to give his flowers, man. Because he killed it from the death row days all the way until, hell, he left and then came back. And he was still killing it. And now he got, you know, the Dirty OGs with him, Trey D, and Cocaine, and uh, the Weasel, mm -hmm. and the Chill. Uh, and the, like I said, the, and they still going. So, right. So, mm -hmm. And I actually heard that him and Daz is dropping another album together, too. And so, you know, oh, and then him, uh, and then, uh, Corrupt Daz, Lady of Rage and RBX, they got a group called Inmates. Oh, and they just up. And they just dropped a CD too. So, you know what I'm saying? So go in there and check that out. So it's like, he, he been, he been working. Corrupt been working. But 
We're going to stay on the West Coast. We're just going to go up a little bit to Sac Town, Sacramento, and uh, give this brother his flowers because he's been doing it for a long, long time as well. Uh, the first time I ever heard him, I think was on, might have been on the West Coast Bad Boys, but um, Season of the Sickness right there. Brother Lynch Home. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I got, you know what I'm saying? So we definitely got to give him his flowers, man. He's been laying it down for Sacramento for a long time. For a long time. <laughs> so this is Brother Lynch Holmes on fire. I just like, I know, I know I'm on fire, but it seems like niggas are sleeping. I'ma show him up. I'ma show him up real quick. Check it out. Yesterday my pit bull ate a dead body. Some of it took the rest in the Maserati. Backseat made sick, back on track. Track me, kamikaze karate gets that heat. Miami, god damn it, I'm so hot. Hot plate, with a bitch a knife in your face, then I scrape. Pussy hole niggas getting raped. Scoliosis niggas all been out of shape. Don't tell him, oh, he knows this. Close, close, spit sick in this psychosis. Turn the bitch niggas into ghosts. Whoever come closest, bodies all comatosic, toasted. That motherfucker's toast, cooking up rump roast. Hit him up with that ripping nigga up signature. Chainsaw, licking your brains raw, niggas getting cut. Nigga, I'm spitting up ejaculation. Sangra all over my apron. Beast brisket on my plate, man. I'm on fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange. Man said he can hit the brains. Because you can find me in the grains. Better believe when I spit flames. Nigga, I'm on fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange, made sick, eating human brains Cause you can find me in the grains Better believe that I spit flames Yes, I eat pussy clips and brains for dinner I put pussy last and became a sinner Spit that shit that'll rip you up in half Spit up, get up, get out, get out, shit out Livers and intestines, they get out, get out, get I don't get that share breath and Kevin's on a rampage Y'all just mad, cause you ain't on my damn page Push the notifications, rewind it I ain't miss, quick to leave the bullshit behind us My sinus, Capricorn, pill a niggas Capricorn backwards And after that shit, I shit heavily That's it, never be, I see Forever I sever these rivals and libel the piss on your Bible, and I know that's a little too much for the eyeballs. Niggas think they sick till I hit them with the night call. Hit them with the nine no, turn them bodies to wax like vinyl. Vinyl fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange, made sick, eating human brains. Cause you can find me in the brains. Better believe when I spit flames, nigga, I'm on fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange, made sick, eating human brains. Cause you can find me in the brains. I get loose like a pit loose, call me Bishop, I get juice off the sick juice, Mr. Rip got six juice with the brains blown, 22's on them, game over, I'm a flamethrower, giving out haircuts, I'm a lawn more, cutting them up into pieces and eating them, I'm more sick of the egg in, look at these dead sim, dinner and a movie when I'm eating human beings and I'm leaning, right out the Chevy with something heavy, do it now, I'm drinking at the levee. Thinking at the levy, thinking Machiavelli, then I'm all out. Me and the homies about to fall out. This is just business, I know. Time to go, fuck them all. Better get the fuck out of Dodge, I can't wait till I fall. Shooting up a nigga that dissed me, respect me. If there's no respect, eject me. Shit, I'm on fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange, made sick, eating human brains. Cause you can find me in the grains. Better believe that I spit flames, nigga, I'm on fire. Heard of a higher life, right? I come strange, made sick, eating human brains. Cause you can find me in the grains. Better believe that I spit flames. Yeah. GS2, nigga. A little message. So I get the respect that I'm old, nigga. Hope it don't have to happen, cause I love my niggas. And I'm out to the next. No smoke, no drink, mixtape. Catching cases and shit. And I'm out. All right, that was Mr. Rip Gut. Yeah. Brother Lynch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, what can I say about uh, Brother Lynch, man? Brother Lynch, hey, I don't care. You know, there's other horrorcore rappers, you know, obviously, you know, they're like, even like before him, in a sense, like Gangsta Nip and all them. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, you got 
Tech Nine had kind of dabbled in it, X rated, obviously, mm-hmm. you know. Even to me, them two, them three yeah. are like the Trinity. Tr- Trinity I can't yeah. mention <laughs> one without the other. Yeah. Brother Lynch, X rated, Tech, Tech Nine. Nine. Yeah. Like, they just. <laughs> They go down there. They, they go, hey, y'all need to get the, the CD together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I, I wouldn't mind hearing that. You know, it was. I was actually. You know, I was. He- I was really excited when I seen uh, that he had signed with Strange Music too. When he signed with Tech Nine for that little minute mm-hmm. or whatever. And but they made some. They made some classic CDs when he when he dropped that. You know that Mental Elector mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And yeah, like he he just they was on it. He was on it. He was on it. That was that was a good little good little move. But now he got his little you know his sick made music thing he got going on and yeah I can't I can't knock man. Brother Lynch is one of them ones man. He definitely he definitely deserves his flowers man. And he's been putting it down for Sacramento for a long time. You know if I I think out of him and Sibo it's kind of like shit neck yeah. to neck mm-hmm. when it comes to that Sacramento shit. So but uh, we're gonna give our honorable mentions. Should I get on the next, on part two? Or should I just go ahead? Because I was supposed to probably get them out like at the beginning. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, you can shoot them a taste. Okay. Just, just you know, hit them with a taste. Okay. So I'm gonna, and then I, the next episode, you know, we can throw you a little, okay, a little piece. More, okay. Well, I'm going to give you three. So we did have three. We had a total of... Like about seven. Yeah, about seven to eight honorable mentions. Uh, I think we just narrowed it down to about seven, though, off the top. But three of them was um, Rod Digger. Yes. Okay. Which I loved. I love Rod Digger. Uh, Zero was another one that we had as one of the honorable mentions. Mm-hmm. And Big Mike. Yes. Okay. And so those are, are three honorable mentions. Uh, the thing about it, though, is um, for our hour. <laughs> I felt that the ones that we chose were a little bit more underrated than our honorable mentions, but those were ones that were up in there. I like I believe Zero will eventually break a lot of the different bears probably that's making him seem so underrated. Yeah. You know, he's if he wants to. Yeah. Which kinda like how we spoke before, like you know, not everybody is willing to drink the Kool Aid. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> and then some people, I don't, I don't want them to hit no type of mainstream because right. when you start hitting that mainstream, they start watering down your content. Mm-hmm. You know, and exactly, and, and that's and and that goes back to what we talked like uh, with Big Crit. I think uh, that's why a lot of times Big Crit albums are good, but I always feel like his mixtapes. Are better than his albums, mm-hmm. but it's mainly because he he uses a lot of samples, a lot of soul samples, to you know get his the complete feeling that mm-hmm. you get from him. And when you when you can't get the clearance, you know what I'm right. saying, and shit like that, it it just you know you have to find another way to get that content out, and it just doesn't it just doesn't knock like how it was when you first get that a whole feeling together. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but I feel like that would be the, the case with zero, you know, or. Um, Rod Digger, I think she's just, I think she's doing more of the podcast now. Mm-hmm. And so she's kind of like going in like the Joe Budden lane. Uh, I ain't going to say Joe Budden lane, but she's but, you know, right. she did, yeah, knew, she going that route or whatever. Uh-huh. And, um, and and Big Mike, I mean, Big Mike is still doing music and stuff like that. Um, I just, I think what probably slowed Big Mike down is Big Mike had a lot of opportunities at the very start of his career. And it could have win either way. You know, him in 3-2 was, you know, at one point probably, well, actually fixing to be signed to Death Row, like Death Row was trying to get him. Mm-hmm. But then at the same time, um, Willie D left to do solo. So then, they, you know, they brought in him to do the Ghetto Boys the, um, to Death Do His Part, mm-hmm. you know. And so, you know, and then at the same time, he, he had a solo project, you know, so where they had to play a play on it and, you know what I'm saying, and, and having things with him. See, so he had a, a lot of, I could, I could have just seen that go like completely different, a different route. Right. Him, you know, so, uh, but I still feel like he's, he's underrated as a, especially as a solo artist. You know, people take that first album, they don't really, yeah, that one got some weight to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. Yeah, those those are the honor- well, those are the the first three honorable mentions of the seven. <laughs> so, but yes, so but make sure you check out part two because part two will have our next five 
that will round out our top ten or our ten. Right, right. All right. You got and 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 it's okay to sniff the glass. <laughs> Just don't drink the Kool Aid. If you don't, that's how we have we are able to come up with these gems here, right? Yes. yes. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for checking us out. Yes, and make sure, like I said, you throw your who you know who you feel like your top five or top ten or yeah, you know, let's whatever. converse. Drop it down yeah. in the comments. Drop it down in the comments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And make sure you check out part two. But we finna get up out of here. And we'll holler at you later. Peace. Just make sure the coke fire. Told the jeweler cut some links and bring the gold higher. You want to shoot it? He hot headed. He ghost rider. Send him through your shit like Robin Givens with the old iron. Swinging, fork in the glass pot clank. Holding the boat, they ship sinking. I make one brick two without blinking. They was sleeping, now I got them rethinking shit.